Hello there, my name is Vincent Whelan. I am one of the Bible teachers here in the high school. I teach the freshmen and I teach the seniors or ninth and 12th grade. This is my second year teaching and second year at Calvary. I left my career of 25 years uh, as with a construction manufacturer as, as I felt God's call on my life to become a teacher, specifically a Bible teacher. <clears throat> I am uh, I'm currently enrolled at the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary as a seminarian where I'm studying my Master of Divinity and it is a real pleasure to be able to teach the students at Calvary here some new curriculum that we devised last, that we devised last year and this is the second year of doing it. This particular curriculum is the 12th grade senior curriculum understanding the faith or in a different term or certainly from a theological perspective what would be what would we would know as apologetics how to defend or to defend our faith. And the idea of the course is very much centered around preparing our students to leave high school as they go off into the world and go off to college and go off into their careers with the ability to A, understand what it means that they are Christian, B, understand what it means that the world sees that they are Christian, and then C, have the ability to at least present a defense of why they believe in Christianity specifically. The course is, is designed around a real hands-on type of curriculum. Each week we will do some form of discussion. I, I, the word might be argument, but that's not really is. It's more of a discussion. But it's a discussion based around topics where we look at how to present truth from subjective truth, how I see it, objective truth, how the world sees it, values versus truth, that we put them in different brackets. I start the class off with the, a look at what apologetics is and what it means, uh, specifically centered around 1 Peter 3, where we are told to be prepared to defend our faith at all times. And then the section moves into the Bible. The Bible is God's holy word. It is the very center of our faith. It's the very center of what we believe. It's where we gain the information and the knowledge to go into the world with real confidence that we are we have the truth in front of us so we look at what the bible is and what the bible isn't what does the bible does the bible actually have authority is it true to say that the bible is without error we look at what does the bible say about god what's the the big story of the bible which is a two-part section the big story of the bible from genesis through revelation then what does it say about loving god this is not the god is love that we're taught as children I get the, the students to intellectualize what it means that God is love, and they can present it from an adult or mature perspective. And then we look at what it means to say that, well, how are we supposed to love our neighbors? And why are we supposed to love our neighbors? And why does God say, love your neighbor? And after the Bible section, we then look at defending our faith. Is God Christian? We look at supernatural good and evil. We look at what's the deal with hell? Why is there evil and suffering? We look at whether or not it's, it, is, it is truly Christian. Are Christians anti-science? Or can Christianity embrace science? Is it intolerant to claim Christian truth? Why does intolerance exist in the world? And why are, why are Christians seen as intolerant? And then finally, we finish that by saying, well, if Christianity is true, why do so many people walk away? It's a really good God-centered, Bible-centered course. And I have one particular rule that I ask when I read, when the students read the Bible, that they ask questions, they make observations, and they find application. Because I believe that this is the best way for us to really study the Bible and give them the tools that they need when they go off into college.